Hey guys, welcome to Rockstar C. Today, I'm going to show you actually plugging in and charging a battery on the Profit Sport Mini multi chemistry charger and the different settings. Uh, these are my two 2S. They're 7.4 5200 milliamp uh, 2S batteries. And my new toy, the E Flight LiPo Cell Voltage Checker. So this, you plug into the balancer cord on your batteries and it reads each cell. So this will read up to a six cell battery. Since I only have two cells, then it only reads two cells. And I'll tell you the voltage per cell and the overall voltage for the whole battery. Okay. Okay, so we got the Profit Mini Sport plugged in. It is blinking red green, showing that it is ready to charge a battery. Right here, you can set this for a 1 amp, 2 amp, 3 amp, or 4 amp charge. So where you put the switch, uh, by hitting the red button here, just a quick tap, we'll change it between the LiPo. The nickel metal hydride and the other two that I don't use. So for this test we're going to do a light bulb because we got a 2S light bulb battery. And on the side here this is a 2S plug, the 3S plug and the 4S plug. So this charger will only do up to a 4S battery. So a 4 cell battery LiPo charger maximum. And this, I believe, is right around $20. Great little charger. I've said it before. Uh, my little 2S batteries here, they run about $39.99, $40 at the time of this video. Um, this is my older one. I taped the edges. Um, just because in Oregon we get a lot of rain and stuff like that. Just trying to keep it. This one is actually brand new, never been used. Ooh. All right. So this is 2S. So we're plugging into the 2S balance report on the side, and into our Traxxas plug. So I got it set at four amps here. It's on lipo, which is good because that's what this is. And you hold down the start for a few seconds. Oh, see that? That's not good. Unfortunately, this 2S battery is no good. That's why it's blinking like that. Now it's saying it's it's not detecting a battery because the cells are bad. So let's unplug the bad battery. Get rid of that. Let's plug in this guy here. Same thing, 2S battery into the 2S port. New plugs. Okay. So, obviously red runs the red, black runs the black. We got the charger saying it's ready. It's on 4 amps. So, if you charge this battery at a 1 amp, it's going to take all day. You know, 4 amp, it's a half hour, 45 minutes from complete dead. So, you hold this down for a few seconds. Boom. This battery actually, I just charged it, so it's flashing green. I believe that means it's about 75% charged. Solid green would be 100%. So now we're done with that. I'm going to plug the battery. Plug the charger. Okay. So my newest toy here is this e-flight lipo cell voltage checker it runs about $14.99 it comes with this little manual which is more warranty and 
phone numbers and it is actual instructions on how to use it but it does say uh, it will check and display voltage for each cell up to six cells and the overall pack uh, test voltage range 6 volt to 26 volt and accuracy give or take 0 0.05 volts so that is pretty good on the e-flight stuff pop off the cap one two three four five six because it goes up to six so so you want to use your balancer port plug and you want to start with the black wire on that at the number one so black wire to one would be correct this way would be Incorrect, if you can see the difference. So, plug it in. So, two cell. All cells together are 831. Cell 1 is running 4.15. Number 2 is running 4.16. And just keep repeating itself. So, the whole battery is 8.31. So, it's a good battery. Put the cap on to protect the little prongs on your thing. And this thing, just, you know, throw it in with your stuff, take it anywhere. If you think you have a problem with the battery, you can check it. So I want to tell you guys, this equipment is so good, even the cats like it. Anyways, I want to give a great shout out to JT20 for... For the video suggestion idea. I appreciate it, man. Thank you guys. Keep on RCM.